Hello, and in this screencast of Apache Isis, I want to show you how to uh, associate a, an action with a property. For my simple object, I have a new uh, property here, which is just a Boolean flag, uh, which is uh, modifiable. In the application itself, you can see it's rendered here, and I can uh, click on the Edit button to, to toggle the, the value. But it perhaps would be nicer to have a um, an, an action that could be used for doing the toggling. So let's see how we would go about doing that. So um, first thing, thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this property unmodifiable and I can do that by adding these additional attributes of the app property annotation. And then the next thing I'm going to do is write a, a method, we'll call it toggle, and uh, this is going to set the value of the flag to be the opposite of whatever the flag is set to. And um, <clears throat> we don't need to, but we could uh, indicate this as an action. It's kind of nice to indicate that information. Um, and we can see there are lots of uh, attributes that you could specify. None of these actually we need, but uh, just to give you an idea about the additional semantics that we can specify with that uh, annotation. So um, if we run the application up now, and then we go to our simple object then we can see that there's now um, that the, the flag property is not modifiable uh, and we have this toggle action and um, what's happening is uh, it's toggling and then it's actually going back to the home page and the reason that's happening is because the action I wrote as being uh, void, so uh, that's the default behavior, which you can override, but uh, that's the default. So um, it would be quite nice though to put this toggle button nearer the flag property. So one way in which we can do this is to use member order, where we set the value of the name to be the uh, the name of the property, which in this case is called flag. And there could be more than one associated object, so we can specify them. In fact, we have to specify a, a, ver a value for that sequence uh, attribute there. Um, and that will do the job. And while I'm here, I think I'm going to change this to return a simple object, and it will just return itself. So let's run the application up again. And let's navigate to our objects again. And now we can see that the toggle uh, button is down by the flag, and uh, and because the action is returning this uh, simple object, we stay on the same page. So that's um, how we often associate actions with uh, uh, with properties using uh, the at member order annotation. Now another way you can do it though, and this is equally valid and it actually takes precedence over the annotation, is to use the layout.xml file. So um, what we would do here is we would specify for the property flag we could then say um, the action is the action is called toggle and um, you might remember seeing all those different uh, semantics for the at action annotation so they're all here as well so that would take the, the work just as well and just to demonstrate that one thing we could do for example is specify that the uh, the button is towards the right rather than directly underneath the uh, flag. So if I just, um, what I just did there was uh, reload the change classes, it will just copy the layout.xml file over. If I reload the page, then you can see that the uh, the action has moved over here to the right, and that's the layout.xml that's being read. Okay, hope that made sense um, as ever. Give it a go, try it out. Thanks.